all the rooftops on the orange line had paintings. Little did I know that I was graffiti and I was on the roof where like, you know, writers would do their things on the rooftops for people who were riding the trains to see. I sort of learned that it was the artwork of like Dana Chandler, Gary Rickson, Paul Goodnight, brothers of that nature that were archetypes of what pioneered what I'm doing to today. Mm, an artistic love letter to black life, hip hop culture, and the city of Boston. And we're joined today by Rob Gibbs, the artist known as Pro Black, and Jessica Estelle Huggins, co-producer of the documentary. It's called The Mural Master. Welcome to you both. So there are many incredible murals throughout the city by a number of artists. Jessica, what made you choose Pro Black as the subject of your documentary? <laughs> Well, Karen, thank you so much for having us on the show. Uh, we at Another Age Productions had this amazing opportunity to produce this series called The Spark with our producing partners at Very Local. And um, it's a four-part series where we highlight folks who are deemed masters of their craft. And so as a black Bostonian, I thought it was really important to uplift people who have already been here, already doing phenomenal work in the community. So it was kind of a no-brainer to reach out to, <laughs> to Pro Black. <laughs> the, the mural master. Oh, wow. Rob, what role does music, and in particular hip-hop, uh, have in your work? Uh, it has a very important role. It's pretty much like the narrative, or should I call it the heartbeat? to what I do. So I was raised off of uh, hip hop culture. Our grandmother gave it to us mm -hmm. as a gift and made sure that it was something that taught us how to just, you know, use our voice. Yeah, you've devoted over 30 years to teaching and mentoring young people. Uh, you co-founded the wonderful organization, Artists for Humanity, and you recently transitioned uh, your leadership role there to focus on your other endeavors. Um, how has your work in the community influenced your art? Whew, beautiful question, beautiful question. My um, community influences just about every story that needs to be kind of told or conversations that I capture. Mm -hmm. And for that short amount of time that I would have anybody's attention, the question is what would I have to say or what could I say and what type of mirror could I put up for people to see themselves in? Mm. In the documentary, you reflect on Breathe Life Together. That's in Dewey Square. Um, you were the first native Bostonian and black man to be commissioned for this mural. Describe how you feel when you look at it and how you felt when you found out you were gonna be doing it. I've said it in the documentary and I asked out of every Bostonian, they could have asked why did they ask me? Mm -hmm. And then I had to say, well, why not me? Mm -hmm. um, it's been a long time mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of folks have spoke about that wall and to put an image up there that just showed people with a with a heart of Boston is that you know the, the image the welcome the, the 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 representation all that mattered when we had put it up on the wall so when I look at it I feel like wow we we, we got one okay mm -hmm. and I see Jessica nodding over there what's the significance of brief life uh, together uh, for you I mean it it's everything, especially um, given that we're still coming out of the pandemic. A lot of us mm -hmm. still feel unsafe to be in certain places um, together. And so um, I just thought it was such a timely phrase for, for Rob in particular to use, and then to also use his actual artistic practice to show what that means in a celebration of what the city is and, and how it's our home. You know, as I drive through the city um, in recent years, I've noticed all of the in increase in public art uh, and public art featuring a diverse community. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for you? How do you think that adds to the fabric of what a city is all about? It lets folks know who's here. It gives people a, a, a welcome and, and just a, a navigation of like wayfinding of the history in, in some manners. And it's also like a, a welcome to any artist that will probably come from out of town mm -hmm. and want to contribute to that landscape. So I always feel like there's a there's a bar that we set where, you know, you can contribute to this this narrative or story or add on to it and like compliment it in such ways. And everybody doesn't always want to go to the Museum of Fine Arts to see art. Mm -hmm. So this also brings art to the people, right? 
Exactly. This is accessible art. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need a membership. You don't need any type of ties to it. It's just the one thing that we ask, or I ask anybody to do when they walk past the mural, which is look up. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking up from a time that, you know, we all looking down at our phones and just kind of caught up, I felt like we did our job when that happens. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so nice having you here. Thank you for having us. And having a chance to meet you. Thank you so much, you Karen. Uh, listen, we want everybody to know that the mural master is on Very Local as part of a local documentary series on Bostonians called The Spark. You can download the Very Local streaming app and watch it for free. Thanks so much for watching today, everybody. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X at CityLine5. And you can follow me on X at Karen Holmes Ward. Have a great afternoon.